there are times when I prepare these meditations. An awful lot of prayer and Bible study goes in, into these things. I, I don't come in here and speak off the cuff, though many times I'm quite sure I don't think I do. But, <laughs> but uh, there are times when I, I've written, you know, like the Lord's leading me to something and I'm thinking, this isn't going to work. I can't, it's not communicating well, you know. And, uh, and then the Holy Spirit gives reassurance. When Bill read that first verse of Matthew, the parable of the talents, that went so much along the, the tithe offering that it was just a trembling feeling of the Holy Spirit is here. You know, this is okay, Rick. Settle down. Um, and then it, the next time you read Scripture is in John 14, and I happen to quote that verse, or part of that verse, in the communion meditation. And, and like I said, once again, there was just that that hovering feeling of the Spirit being on the service. And, of course, I it, it hit me personally because of, of the work I've done here. But let's see what the Lord has. I love the Old Testament. I relish the action, the intrigue, the, the challenges of God's people living their lives in times that are dangerous, difficult, and changing. And recently I was visiting with old Jeremiah the prophet, and, uh, you know, he had a tough time. He prophesied during the uh, time that uh, Judah was dying. Uh, it, uh, surrounded by Babylon, it, he prophesied under five different kings. There was such turmoil. And uh, in the midst of all this horror, and they knew they were doomed, and they were headed toward exile, God and Jeremiah was prophesying, saying, "Boys, brace yourselves, it's coming." And uh, then God gives these words of comfort in Jeremiah 29: "For I know the plans I have for you," declares the Lord, "plans to prosper you, not to harm you; plans to give you hope in the future. Then you will call on me and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart." I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and bring you back in captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. You know, in spite of all that the Israelites saw that was happening to them and their country, their, their, their families, their temple, God says, trust me. Now, this truth has echoed down through centuries, and I found it scattered throughout the New Testament. You know, where Jeremiah wrote, I have plans to prosper you and not to harm you. In Revelation, Jesus says, look, I'm coming. I'm coming soon, and my reward is with me. When Jeremiah wrote, you will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you. Jesus says in Matthew 7, for everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Jeremiah writes, I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you. Jesus says in John 14, I go and prepare a place for you. I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may also be where I am. Each week we remember this promise that he will come for us, and bring us home with him when we celebrate the Lord's Supper. Because it's a sacrament that we are to practice, the key words are, until he comes. In 1 Corinthians 11, we read this. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So though we live in times of, of change, you know, our church is doing a lot of change, and, and, and the various challenges of, of just living life, we can take comfort in God's words. I know the plans I have for you, Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. 
plans to give you a hope and a future. And we have this hope and promise until He comes. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to remember this hope until you come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.